Hey everyone, welcome back to Ravenport and episode 13 of this Let's Play series. So what we're going to do today is get the sheep. As I mentioned in the last episode, we're going to look again the sheep pasture down at the farm. So what we're going to do first is we do need some hay bales. Is, and we're just going to do two passes around the headlands on the grass fields. And then we'll set a worker off to continue cutting these. And then we'll go and look again the sheep pasture in and then going to actually get some sheep so hopefully we can get a decent amount of hay bales off our two grass fields um, enough to feed the, the sheep that we'll get and also have some in storage for the horses as well so do we need to sort that bit out there where the, uh, the mower just quite doesn't cut the grass And also at some point we need to, could do really do with plowing, on, plowing out this section and planting some more grass on that bottom edge. Just to tidy it up a little bit, I did install a mod that somebody sent me a link for or put me onto uh, called the Grass Patch uh, mod which does work, you can place grass uh, with like wild grass in places but the one I've got Although it said you can put it on slopes, it levels the ground, so you end up with uh, raising certain areas where you can't put grass, and it doesn't work very well at the moment. So hopefully that'll get updated, or Giants will release a foliage brush of some description uh, very soon, so we can actually start adding grass back where we've been terraforming, which will be really handy because the plain grass texture doesn't look great, to be honest. What I'll do, you know, just go to the end of the field and I'm going to turn around and try and cut that little bit that we've missed. The tractor being up on the bank. Uh, technically, because we're only getting sheep, we don't need to turn it into hay. Um, but the horses require hay, so we may as well put the grass into hay and then bale it. Uh, the easiest way obviously would be to get a loading wagon because uh, we can then just tip the loose hay or grass straight into the sheep's feed trough rather than baling it and then putting it straight in there but we don't have the well we do have the money technically uh, but I don't really want to be leasing a uh, a loading wagon because I want to try and get as many sheep as we can get with what money we have so let's see if we can just cut that a little bit. Alright, so that's two passes around that field. I'll do two more around this one, then I'll set the worker off, and then we'll go and get the sheep pasture in position. Okay, so uh, just come up to cut this grass, and I'm pretty sure I remember cutting all these trees down. and plowing all this section out so uh, yeah our, our trees have mysteriously regrown um so this is actually you can see on the it's showing up field info and you can see from the texture it is actually planted grass um which is quite bizarre <laughs> so I literally i'd never even noticed when I was playing on the previous one but we didn't come up this area so all that time spent cutting those trees down was for nothing um, oh well I'm hoping that's not going to confuse the worker in that we've now got trees in the middle of our field that shouldn't be there um, anyway I'll continue getting this the headlands cut and getting the worker set under if it's let's just check so I did smooth all this down, it does see if the actual terrain where we change the terrain seems to have uh, saved uh, but not the trees for some reason 
uh, ra rather bizarre not sure quite what happened there but um, anyway we'll, we'll just leave them as they are I'm not going to bother cutting them down again um, we are going to lose a little bit of grass but I'm sure we'll have enough from what we've got okay so that's the worker set off for cutting the the one field anyway I know we'll swap them over to the other field when he's finished so what we're going to do is get the sheep pasture in uh, so first off we'll just turn on the help menu just to make sure we're not going to spend a fortune I know they have adjusted the prices of the placeables now with the train so it shouldn't be so we're going to go with the standard sheep pasture which is $65,000 and we're going to try and fit it in here somewhere now we have got the water trough on this right hand side and if we turn it around that way then we've got to get access to the front so I think this is probably the best way around to have it so we've got the the edge where you don't need to get access to across the field and that should be plenty of space down there looking is straight so that's 65,048 which 65.29 that's 29 dollars more um, so that should be perfect so we'll place that there probably could have gone back a little bit but never mind so what we're going to do is go into the painting and we'll paint or just tidy up the edges a little bit just where the dirt texture is um, unfortunately to say before when I did the episode with the train it's in my uh some of the textures I've got are missing, like this patchy grass texture is uh, missing. Uh, this is a mod map, so it's like a modded version of Ravenport. Um, so I don't know if that's the reason these, those textures just aren't in the mod folder for it. I will have a look at it when I remember. And see if I can add the textures from the Forgotten Plants pack into it. So we can use those. So we don't really need to go too far that way. So we've got our wall spawn point, uh, the place for the hay or grass, and then the water trough there. So what we need to do now is that grass looks a bit compared to the sheep pasture on Felsbrun, because I've got the different texture pack for grass running on the Felsbrun map the grass is like really dense and that looks quite uh, sparse <laughs> so what we do we need to go and get some sheep and I have installed the the modded Flegel animal trailer so we've got this which is only $15,000 which in my opinion is way too cheap um, for the capacity of animals it carries um, it should be more expensive than the Joskin in my point because uh, if you look at the Joskin $24,000 it only holds 6 cows, 9 pigs and 10 sheep uh, compared to this one which is only $15,000 and holds uh, 6 cows still but you've got 12 pigs, 14 sheep and 9 horses so you can do horses which you can't do with the Joskin and you can transport more pigs and sheep uh, so Josking trailer is kind of obsolete now and it's like, well, what's the point? Who's going to buy that to use when you can just get that one? And because of the fact that this one does do horses, um, we're going to sell our horse box because we're probably not going to need it now. It's pointless having a animal trailer that can do horses as well as the other animals and having the horse box. So we'll get that up to the shop and sell that. Uh, we'll take the Magnum. So we'll sell the horse box and buy the Flegel. And then we'll head back via the livestock market and pick up our first load of sheep. And then we get those in. We'll see how much money. We've got $42,000 uh, left now. Obviously I don't want to spend all of that. Uh, I'm going to get stuck on the uh, the roof. Um, yeah, I don't want to spend all of that money, uh, but we want, do want to get as many sheep as we possibly can. 
Uh, we still have, actually, I forgot, we've got the barley from the previous episode, the harvest. I put it into the silo. Uh, so we'll check the price on that. And we can go and sell that to get some more sheep if need be. Okay, so let's get this horse box sold. I'll just drop it off in the sell point. And so I'm not sure how much we'll get for this, so the value is fourteen thousand. So that's quite a bit more than I was expecting. So that's less than a thousand dollars to um we need to put towards the flea gaunt. I've still got that seed <laughs> seed pallet um the big bag and the I think it's herbicide. Um, so we want the animal transport and the flea gall so we can change the main colour. So we've got choice of steel, zinc, black or grey. Um, I think we'll go with the steel. And the top could go with case red to match now. That don't look too bad. I think the yellow, to be honest, and the standard yellow looks fine. So we'll keep it, keep it standard. So what we'll do is we'll head over to the livestock market and get some sheep. All right then, so we just need to pull up here at the back of the livestock market. And then we can load our sheep up. I think this one you can unfold. Yep. Not that it makes any difference. You don't see the animals going in or not. Uh, it does look like a decent size uh, animal trailer. So let's open up the animal dealer dialogue. And we want sheep. So we've got choice of the white, brown black and white and black I think we'll go for brown something a bit different I think I've got black and white on Felsbrun so we'll go for brown so we've got 14 we can fit in I've traded so it's $21,000 for 14 so confirm that and there's all our sheep well packed in there not much space left so let's get that closed up before they all dart off at the back and we'll be uh, chasing them down the railway line or the rail railroad line as I should say as we're in uh, the US so let's get these sheep back and we'll get them in the pasture and we'll get the water topped up and the feed and then what we'll probably do is take the barley over to the sell point with the best price because we can't afford another full trailer load at the moment. So hopefully with that, if the price is similar to what it was before, we should have just under $20,000 worth of barley. So we should easily be able to get another full trailer load. And I think we'll leave it at that for now, and then we can add to those um, as and when we get some more money. Right, so let's unload our first lot of sheep on the farm. We back the try look down. And we want to move all of those. So that's 14 sheep. Confirm. Now we'll just pull the trailer out of the way so we can go and get the the water tanker. Not sure if it's full, we might need to top it up. Uh, top up the wa horses water if they need any if there's anything in here yep so the worker can't see if he's actually finished it or he's still going I think he has finished so I'll get him changed over onto the other field as well so 
So we'll just fill this up first. Uh, there is that new mod now that's on the mod hub where you can put your own pond in. Uh, not really much point in us using that down here as we've got this water source just here. Uh, but it would be cool to uh, give it a try at some point. So we get that filled up and let's just jump across to the worker and... I'll say the worker where he's just dumped the tractor and gone off for his break. But I think he has pretty much cut everything in the middle, so he's done a fairly decent job. So let's see how well he does on doing this field. So set him off going down that direction. So he can be doing that, and uh, we've got a full tank. So let's go and put this in the sheep. Obviously, if we get more sheep, the the water will go down. But I don't think they'll take all of this, so we can leave the tanker there and then just top it back up again. So let's fill up at least them with water. That'll stop some production of war. I think it's about 10% production with uh, just water. So it's not a huge amount, but it is better than uh, nothing. So we're going to fill up the trailer. I don't think we've got any other crops other than a bit of wheat in the silo. So we'll just check. So we've got just under 9,000 litres of wheat just under 20,000 of barley and I think that's it so we'll fill the barley up and check out the the best price at the moment 1,000 at the central grain elevator is currently the best price so yeah we'll just we'll have just under $20,000 and what I'll do is I'm not sure if this will link up to that, but if we can take both, then we can get some more sheep on the way back. Oh, handy. <laughs> That's going to save us a trip. So what we'll do is head up to the central grain elevator, um, which is just past the animal dealer and up across top of field 8. Uh, we'll sell the, sell the barley, and then we'll, on the way back, we'll get 14 more sheep. Okay, so we're at the central grain elevator and hopefully we can <laughs> fit in here. May need to drop off the animal trailer to tip this off first. So let's sell this. I say it should be around about 19,800. As it's pretty much a pound or well, pound. <laughs> A dollar per litre. So yeah, nineteen thousand eight hundred and thirty-one dollars. So back up to just under forty thousand. So we can get another fourteen sheep. So we'll head back via the live stock market and get another fourteen, and get those in the pen. Then we need to get the hay or get the grass tedded, so we can get some hay bales and then feed the sheep. So we've just come back up to the farm now. We've got 14 more sheep in the livestock trailer. So we're down to $18,000 now, which we'll stay at for now. Uh, so we won't get any more sheep just yet, but they will obviously start reproducing as well to increase the numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'll drop that off first, and then I'll drop this trailer off. Save trying to back both trailers up. Uh, make life a little bit easier hopefully soon we'll start getting some decent amount of wool to start getting some some money so we can continue expanding this farmyard and get, get a few more buildings 
and get some more equipment and stuff. As what I would like to do is when we redo these fields, when we replant them, um, is probably actually get a planter and do some corn or sunflowers or just a different crop, something we haven't done yet. Okay, so we've got the 28 sheep in. Product productivity is 20% with just water and 100% cleanliness. So obviously I'm presuming it's because they only take one food type in grass hay uh, that water has a bigger effect on their uh, product productivity than of the other animals. So we do need to obviously just get the grass and hay in and some more water. So we could top up the water first as we've still got the water tank there. The workers finished now so it looks like he's finished the grass field so we get the get the tedder on that and get that all teddied up so we'll just leave that there for now as well so we've got one egg box left and then we've got the spawn point for eggs is four so we can look at probably taking those in the next episode We'll get the pickup loaded up and get those over to the sell point. As one of those things, I never sold the horse box. It's like, apart from transporting the eggs, is the pickup really uh, something we need? So let's get this load down. Uh, so. Oh yeah, it's not the tether. <laughs> uh, I'm just like, start going there and think, why is that not changing colour? Yeah, because that's not the tether, that's the uh, the rake. <laughs> that would be why. Uh, I was used to using that on 17, that type. Uh, the, like the wheel rake, the V-rake type. Um, it also used to ted as well as rake the grass at the same time. <laughs> But yeah, we'll we'll take the tether this time. Uh, maybe maybe this will work for the uh, for what we actually need it to do. I said to be fair, I said we could just bale the grass. Um, actually, thinking about it, let's not ted. Right, I am going to actually uh, bale the grass. Because we've got some hay bales, and what we'll do is we'll bale all the grass, um, feed as much to the sheep to fill up the feed trough, and then we'll wrap the rest. And we can sell as silage bales because the grass is not going to take long to regrow, um, so we can get some more hay bales. And uh, technically, we could actually. Just wrap all the bales and sell them as silage bales, and then buy hay bales to replace the, uh, the silage bales we've just created, and still have money left over. I don't know if that's a bit cheaty, but <laughs> how much is the? Let's have a look. The current price of silage is oh, nearly 500, well, 440 per thousand liters. So you're going to get just under $2,000 per bale. And then what you can buy a pay bale for... not sure how much the bale is actually... 650 so... Yeah, it could end up with like... 20 silage bales, sell those... And then buy 20 hay bales and still have a lot of money left over. <laughs> Um, yeah, we won't do that. What we'll do, I'll we'll get it all raked up. I'll bale it. Now, what I'll probably do actually is put the worker on the rake. Uh, might be easier, and then we can just start following it around with the baler to speed things up a little bit. I'm not sure if he'll go from there. He will. So we'll get the mower dropped off. 
do need to look see if that needs repairing actually and uh, which I'll just do quickly because I'm not sure if it's been repaired since we've been using it so I'll drop this off by the workshop as the balers over here anyway I'll just quickly check that no it's fine I must have repaired it after last time we used it I'll leave that there anyway because it needs washing off and we'll get the baler So let's get that pickup lowered and um, we'll do some bale. I'm not sure as well, just check whether, I'm not sure if we actually fully fertilise these fields. Um, no, so we're not getting the full yield, which is a bit of a shame. I never checked before we actually cut it. I'm not sure if we could have applied any fertilisation state before we cut it anyway, but I uh, must remember to Put some fertilizer on after we finish cutting it this time. Okay, so this is probably the last bale or two we're going to get um, from this. Um, we have had quite a fair few bales. I did say before um, that we hadn't fully fertilized it. Um, I did forget that we'd already cut the grass by that point, and obviously, when you cut the grass, it reverts it back to the first fertilization stage. So it was fully fertilized. <laughs> Um, I never even thought um, when I checked. It was only when I started baling. So I was getting quite a lot of bales off this field for uh, one it's not been fully fertilised and I remembered that it had been fully fertilised and it obviously I didn't check it before we actually cut the grass. So we may just about get one more if we can find a, uh, <laughs> a little bit of grass. There are a few bits um, here and there that the worker missed that I'll tidy up. The bales are in the way to keep going with the uh, the rake. Oh, come on. There's got to be enough here. There probably is enough here. I'm just going to have to spend ages driving around these little, these little bits. Uh, come on. There we go. So turn that off so we don't pick up any more grass. I don't want to end up with a random grass bale again. Uh, we'll get this unloaded. Uh, close that back up. Uh, what we'll do is... Just... Put this back. Um, not sure exactly how many bales we're going to need. We're not going to need all of them by any any means, and I don't think sheep take a huge amount of grass or hay. So what I'll do, I'll put the front loader, put the front loader on. We'll pick up an individual bale. We'll get the bale collector filled up, and then we'll just drop one bale in and see kind of how much that's filled the bar up to give us an idea because. I don't know if it's still something that's happening, but previously when I was uh, feeding the cows um, on, I think it was on Felsburn, um, it was still accepting bales even though the feed trough was full and obviously then they're just going to waste. So I don't really want to just unload eight bales directly into the uh, the feed area and find out it only takes like four to fill up and then we've just lost four bales so we put one in first and then we can kind of see um, actually yeah I'll put one in first before we pick any up because I do want to wrap them um, any ones we don't need I do think the, uh, I know they don't fully show every single sheep that you buy, but I think that could do with reducing the amount of sheep you do see, same with the cows, uh, the cows look really bad in the small cow pasture, <laughs> there's just looked way too many in there, 
Um, so let's just check. So the sheet four thousand. So that's probably a quarter. So possibly three more bales. And what I'll do is we'll collect three, um, unload those in, and then see. But it looks like we're probably going to run three bales. So we are going to have quite a lot of bales to sell for silage. So we could end up. Um, having quite a bit of money actually that we could actually buy some more sheep uh, but then we'd need more bales to <laughs> fill up the feed trough so yeah we'll feed these what I might do is wrap eight of the grass bales collect them with this take them to the sell point see how much they sell for and if we've got enough to buy another full load of sheep uh, then I might go and get another full load of sheep we might as well get as many as we can um, so they're going to start producing quite a fair bit of wool then so if we unload those three and yeah, that's for 14,000 litres so that was what four eight 12 so we have lost 2,000 litres from that um, uh, but at least that's full now so what we need is I'll drop that off and uh, we need the bow wrapper I'll do all these off camera as uh, bow wrapping takes a while because although I can't remember if I modded this one I think that was on thingy I changed the speed on I think it was the one I was using on 17 I adjusted the speed slightly so it wrapped a bit quicker I don't think I did this one I'm pretty sure I didn't I don't want to pick up the grass bale yeah so I'll get all these wrapped up because I say they do take quite a while Uh, maybe when we've got a bit more money soon we can get the all-in-one bow wrapper so we'll be able to do it in one go because yeah this does take take forever to wrap the bales uh, which is understandable it's probably realistic speed uh, probably depending on how many times you're going to wrap around it so I know you can adjust on some wrappers you can adjust the amount of times it actually like wraps around the bale so I'll get so I'll get eight of these done again collected on the trailer and we'll take them over to the the barn sell those and see how much money we've got okay so we've got the eight silage bales um, on the collector I was just heading up to the barn to sell these I think at the current price we're going to get around about 15,400 for uh, one load we've still got a uh, load of bales left on the field so let's just back this up and get this unloaded so we will have enough to get another full load of sheep uh, looking at the sheep at the moment, the reproduction rate is quite high, so 170 hours. So it's going to take a while for that number to build up. So 14,500, so it was a little bit off. So I think we'd probably definitely get another load and um, reduce that reproduction rate as well. Um, once we get to that point where they're reproducing... Uh, not too bad we'll just leave them as they are uh, when the, the pasture is up to capacity of 80 we'll take a full load and sell so we'll, every now and then we'll get some money back from selling a full load of sheep so we're up to 33,000 we have got let's see the stats how many bales we actually created so 36 in total we've used four to feed the sheep 
so that'll be leave 32 and then we've just sold eight so let's <laughs> do more maths that's 24 it's 24 left which is one of the three loads uh, on the trailer so Yeah, still another what, nearly forty-five thousand dollars worth of bales. Um, obviously we will need to keep some uh, to feed. <laughs> so, uh, trying to think, work out what would be the best way to do. Maybe we sell, we'll keep another four bales and sell the rest so now we're going to get all these wrapped up take two full loads over to sell and then four of the other ones will sell and then we'll go and get uh, some more sheep we'll probably get another two loads actually I think it might be worth worth getting another two and then that'll be it then we'll leave it at that because that'll take us up to 56 sheep so I think that'll be plenty for now. Okay, so we've just finished off selling the last of the silage bales. I did say I was going to keep four grass ones and oh, carried away wrapping them. Uh, we've only got three left, but uh, that should still be enough. I say that first uh, lot of bales in took 2,000 litres. I don't know when we add more sheep whether that 2,000 litres will still be there um, or whether that's gone. So what I'm going to do is head up to the livestock market, get a, another two full loads of sheep, get those in the pen and then we'll feed the bells and then that'll do. I'm not quite sure how long this episode is going to be because I had to stop the recording and I kind of messed up with the, uh, the timing so hopefully I'm Definitely know it's not going to be probably a short one. I'm um, just hoping it's not going to be too long. So anyway, yeah, I'll go and get these two loads. Um, I'll meet you back at the farm when we've got the second load in. And then we'll see what the reproduction rate is. And then how much food we've got. And say hopefully we're not going to have to feed them for a good number of days anyway. Okay, so this is our final load of sheep we'll be getting. I don't see us buying any more um, after this. So we'll have 56. So we'll just let them reproduce to fill up the, uh, the pasture. And we've already got our first wall pallet spawned and filling. Let's get these unloaded. I will need to obviously top up the food and uh, top up the water again. Let's get those moved over and confirm that. Actually, yeah, we'll put the bells in. So let's just check. So we've got 13, just under 14,000 litres of food. Obviously, it's dropped slightly and 5,500 litres of water. So the reproduction rate now, oh, that's <laughs> dropped dramatically. So it's only 16 hours 30 to the next animal, 17 hours 15 um, for the current reproduction rate so that's dropped a hell of a lot from was it 170 hours um, so we've doubled the amount of sheep and obviously that's way more than half the uh, reproduction rate so yeah it's probably not going to take too long we're getting free sheep every two days and obviously the more that increases that reproduction rate will reduce even further so that's 25,000 litres of it's not fully filled it up but that's more than plenty to keep us going so I'll just drop that one back off there I'll get all this tidied up off camera now we'll just top up the water if there's any left in the tank so just a little bit So that will do for that. I'm just going to leave that there for a minute. And yeah, I'll get that fully topped up after. So I think that'll do for today. So I'm not sure if this has been too long of an episode or not. Uh, but we do have our sheep in place now. 
so they'll start producing some nice pallets of warp which the current price i don't think is great at the moment uh well i'd say it's not too bad 1600 but i think it could be a bit better so there's our new sheep uh we i say next episode we'll probably start off selling the eggs i'll get the uh, pickup loaded up uh, they do need clean there together they really do make a mess the uh, chickens and i did manage to uh get this i don't know if anybody knows um i know that i've I think I've seen a few people saying that if you put a different type of crop, more like wood chips, um, cover over there, it stops the um, feed being able to fill up because it can't put a different type of crop on top of something else. So that is an option. Um, to be honest, how long it takes to quickly scoop up that. Uh, it's not something I'm that fussed about, to be honest. So we'll leave it as it is. So, yeah. We've finished the episode $30,000 and we've got 56 sheep and the sheep pasture itself and also a new animal trailer so we've not done too bad today. As I say, changing that economic difficulty to easy is just going to help progress a little bit quicker as I'm so far behind on these episodes. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed the episode and if you have then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, I really do appreciate it. And if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, then please do consider subscribing because we've got more Farming Simulator 19 videos coming every day uh, with the time lapses and more, more Let's Plays. Again, um, hopefully I can keep on top of them. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you again. Goodbye. Yeah.